In this video, I'm going to show you my process for taking this line drawing of a cigar bar in a Dubai hotel and turning it into this black and white tone drawing using a combination of layer masks, the soft brush airbrush, and the round brush painting brush. When I have to work fast, my first step is to select and then give an arbitrary color fill to all of the largest flat areas in the drawing. This allows me to easily reselect those areas later as I apply tone to them one by one. I try to work from large area to small area, erasing out things like cabinet doors, paintings, and sconces as I go. The reason this works well is because the solid fill makes it easy to select these areas later. Then I can add a layer above any of these fills and work in that pre-selected area without worrying about painting outside the lines or making mistakes that may affect other surfaces. By essentially masking each area ahead of time, I am able to address each surface quickly and I'm free to play with reflections and texture that give a little bit of spontaneous character to what might otherwise be flat, overly airbrushed looking surfaces. Now that I've used the soft brush airbrush to put down tone on the largest areas, I switch to the round brush painting brush to begin to model some of the walls and fixtures with texture, shade, and shadow. The round brush is really more of a marker than it is a watercolor brush, but after you get the hang of it, it can really add some much needed looseness to the initial airbrush washes. So the large areas are as far along as I wish to take them at this point, but before we start the furniture, I want to show you a trick for setting these layers up. The furniture is all very close together and there's a lot of it. And because I only had about two hours to tone this whole drawing, it was not going to be possible to laboriously mask each piece of furniture. So I toned the furniture in four horizontal zones, each one on its own layer, starting at the back and working forward so I could work fast and then just erase wherever I had gone over the lines without fear of damaging the previous layer. So I just want to make the point again that painting and then erasing the overpainted area is almost always a faster way to work than selecting and masking discrete parts of the drawing, especially when you are working in small overlapping areas like with this furniture, and especially when you are looking for a certain amount of looseness to the drawing anyway. I should mention that the way I render these chairs and tables is to first give the entire chair a wash of tone, then to add shade to the surfaces facing away from the light, whether that's a lamp or a window, and finally to cast shadows where the backs of chairs or the arms of chairs would block the light coming from a nearby light fixture or window. And as always, adding in little details like reflections in the mirror and a vague sense of what is outside through the glass doors will really make a difference in your drawing and are, are things well worth practicing. I usually save making the floor shadows for last, mostly because it's really satisfying and it seems to make the most difference of any single phase of the drawing but also because it's such a pleasure to play with the shadows when you've already done the hard work of creating the furniture leg mask at the very beginning of the project. Without fear of messing up the furniture or having to erase a bunch of mistakes, you can just play with how every piece of furniture would cast a shadow and really enjoy the sense of light you create during this phase of the rendering. This waiter needs a little work now that everything else is rendered, 
But I also want to add a couple of figures in these chairs so the viewer knows this is a cigar bar. I have a separate video on techniques for adding figures to drawings, but suffice to say you can add figures in the late stages of a rendering by beginning with a layer of white underpainting to capture the position and movement of the figure, followed by an outline of the figure, followed by a layer of tone in between the outline and the underpainting. And here is the final image. Thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe for more like this.